dog's condition is uh, not great. So I'm having to shave him all over because you see like he's completely covered in mats. At least, you know, at least a good three inches around. And this is what I discovered underneath one of the mats on his left front leg. So he has some sort of wound there. So to tell his mom, um, she's probably gonna take him to the vet to make sure that's not infected. And then his nails, they're getting caught in everything. So here's what we're gonna pick up. We're gonna trim his nails and then uh, continue shaving him. I started shaving his body with a 10, but by the time I got down to his feet, I had to switch to a 30. his nails are curled. Luckily they have not punctured the pads so far. So far none of the pads are punctured. And you guys this smells awful. That wound, he's really gonna have to get some uh, attention from his vet just to make sure it's not infected, but it smells pretty bad. This is uh, pretty close to a worst case scenario that I've seen. Can't even find this one. Okay. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna try to free you of all this gunk. I can't even tell if he has dew claws under there. Uh, Oh boy. All of this under here, very dangerous to get those mats out. Luckily, he's being very, very calm, very still. I'm gonna get all this off without making his skin. If you are not a seasoned groomer, do not try this at home. You can tell if he has deep, yeah, he has a deep claw, so that's going to be super tricky. I, I could wash this first, but because of how matted it is, this would take forever for him to dry so that I can then start to take it off. 
shave it off, but it's, it's uh, the best for now. Okay, buddy, just hang around just a little bit. So I did tell his mom that I have to save everything on him. By the end of this process, he would have been through so much. It's better to just take it off and then hopefully they can bring him to me before he's in this condition again. I am always checking the temperature of my blade to make sure it's not hot. This is not something I would recommend anyone trying at home unless you are a seasoned groomer. This dog's skin can easily just be unzipped by accident if you make a wrong move. You don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to see any animal go through that. All of this under here is completely matted. Back to a number 10 on his head and face. I have to do 30, a number 30 on his body and legs. His feet are, were, were completely matted over. So I'm gonna have to just um, go ahead and wash him and let that loosen up in the bath a little bit so I can get the rest of it off. I'm going to do a reverse seven on his head for his bag. I may have to do a reverse ten to make it all match because he has some significant mats here and here and then you can see underneath those mats it, the clippers cut closer to the skin just getting those mats off so if this doesn't even up with my reverse seven, then I am going to do a number 10 on the top of his head too. Okay, he's all clean now. And some of this matted stuff on his paws. I 
coming off a lot easier. It does have skin tags, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Good boy. You want to sit down? There you go. Good boy. Almost done. You did really good, baby boy. You know, you're ready to go home and relax. Okay, I'll see you next time, okay? Very good, little boy. Very